the TikTok sensation. Hey guys and welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing another reading vlog. A lot of the book recommendations these days are through TikTok. We're going with the classic It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This is the first book by her that I've ever read. I'm very excited to see how it goes, what it's like. I just need to check on my bath and then we can read through like the blurb and like the first page together and then I'm gonna read in the bath and it's gonna be cute. I'm gonna get my pajamas on and then I'm gonna read in bed. Cozy, cute vibes. So It Ends With Us is the book I'm reading. I feel like this is the most popular one, but she also has really popular other ones like November 9 and One Love or something? Ugly Love? Also Verity. Basically, she's a very popular author and she's written loads of books and all of her books are quite popular. She's been made very big via TikTok, which is why I know about her. Okay, I don't like, the blurb's really long. It's like this and this. So I'm not gonna read it out loud because if you've watched one of my previous reading vlogs, I cannot read out loud to save my life. <laughs> if you said read me this sentence without stuttering, I cannot do that. I just thought it'd be fun to read one of her books for the first time, take you along with me. I'm gonna try and make it like spoiler free in the sense of like, I'm not gonna ruin the book if you haven't read it yet, but if you have read it, you'll probably get what I'm talking about. I'm going into it with like no opinions, no views. I don't know how it's gonna go. I just know that it's meant to be good because it's popular. So welcome to my channel if you're new. Make sure you subscribe if you're interested in reading vlogs or suggest me books to read. I'm always looking for new books to read. My to be read list is like 120 books or something. Seems like a lot, but like I have my whole life to read them. So I'm always happy to add more books to it. Let's get into the vlog, starting with chapter one, but chapter one is gonna be read in the bath because I just got a bath bomb from Lush and I'm very excited to use it. I feel like it's huge. It smells like my favorite scent. They've called it black rose and my favorite thing is rose jam, but it smells pretty much similar. I'm in bed and I've literally not even read the first chapter yet. And I'm like, so much has already happened and they're talking about death. <laughs> What did I think this book was going to be about? I'm not sure, but didn't really expect, like, suicidal thoughts. I'm on chapter two now. I'm really not progressing much with this book. I feel like I read it a bit and then I just put it down. <laughs> it is now, like, in the form of diary entries and, well, her diary, she's writing to Ellen DeGeneres, which I don't really get that. Maybe that will be, like, relevant later. Maybe not. I like this kind of thing, like, where it's different medium like the good girl's guide to murder is like different forms of writing so like emails and interviews and stuff and i find that really useful and like keeps me engaged it's more interesting than just like text if you know what i mean does that make sense <laughs> the story being told and then like diary entries or like phone calls and stuff like that i find that more interesting than just like pure story narrative i'll, I'll come back later with some actual coherent thoughts <laughs> One thing that I'm struggling to get past is the fact that this man's name is Ryle. <laughs> like Kyle with an R, Ryle. What kind of name is that? His surname gives me K and I'm like, is this a real person? And she just like switched the first letters around. Like it's really Kyle or something. I don't know. <laughs> so I was reading in bed last night and I made some notes. And chapter five equals eye roll. And then I put like the, the eye roll emoji. He said, ugh, romance. Glad she's not falling for it. Wait, now she is, question mark. And he's fallen asleep, typical slash predictable, but I hope I like them if the book is about them. So basically at the moment, I'm I'm not vibing with the main characters. I'm not really vibing with the like storyline between them. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't say I don't like romance books, but like, I don't know, romance is just kind of like cringe sometimes, don't you think? Like I don't find and stuff cute like I just find it annoying so far I'm not enjoying it but I'm on chapter six now I'm literally just gonna read now for like I don't know an hour or something I have no plans and I'm just chilling but I feel like I'm spending too much time on my phone so if I read it's like less screen time I'm like 50% through now mm, like 46% and I have just like got into the book kind of thing like well no I spent like two hours straight reading yesterday and like once I was in the flow 
I was like, okay, yeah, I'm into this, I get this. But I find like I'm more interested in the past. Basically, I think I already explained, but in case I didn't, the past is like main girl's diary entries from like when she was a teenager. And they're just so much more interesting than like the main story. Like I care way more about the past. So I'm thinking like maybe I should have read like the sequel, which is called like It Begins With Us. Is that about that? I don't even know what it's about, but I feel like I'd probably be more interested in the sequel. <laughs> yeah, because I just, I'm vibing with the past, present's kind of like, meh, like take it or leave it. Like I'm not that into it. I will prevail. Like I'm into the book, but I'm not into like the story. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not into the, the current, situation in the book i like the past situation i'm probably gonna finish it today because like i said i'm halfway through and i don't have any plans today so i think i'm gonna finish it sometimes i forget how much i like reading and then i will do like a two hour straight of just reading and then i'm like yeah books are great <laughs> it's actually so crazy like this story they just revealed some like big secret big like naked truth and i just don't care just do not care for this character like at all like okay <laughs> to me there's nothing going for them i don't know they just give off like such manipulative vibes you know if you know who i'm talking about <laughs> i've been trying to figure out like why does everyone cry when they read this anyway i don't know <laughs> but i feel like something bad just happened i've got a feeling i've got a feeling i just finished the book and i feel like i didn't like it <laughs> i feel like there was a point like in the middle where I was like yeah I'm getting into this but I think it's just because I wanted to find out more like about the past and what was happening in the past so I was kind of like on a roll but like I've said throughout this whole video I did not gel and I did not like the main not the main character but like the main love interest and so I just didn't care when things were happening like specifically to to him or like about him or his life <laughs> like I just don't care and I don't know it, it was weird because like I ju just don't feel like I found the book emotional like okay, yeah there's some themes in there that are a bit like tragic don't get me wrong but like I don't know I'm like at what point in this book do people cry like at what was cry worthy in it <laughs> it's like I don't know I've, I've cried reading a lot of things like the most recent one I could think of is the song of Achilles that was not the last book I read that I cried to but like it's like a standout book that like if you want to cry like read that book it is oh my god like it made me cry so much so I'm like what are people crying at in this book like which part was the bit I was supposed to cry because like I literally I feel like I was pretty blank face like the whole time but yeah maybe i would enjoy the sequel better it's not out yet but when i read it probably not and it's annoying because <laughs> i kind of want to read another book by the same author which is called verity because i don't know all of her books have like the same style of cover and this one has like a different one and i'm like maybe it's like a different style of book but like i don't think it was badly written i just didn't like the character he was in the book a lot <laughs> and i also feel like it was all a bit too convenient like the way people knew each other or like where people live the way that they would say something in the past like oh when i grow up i want to have a flower shop and then flash forward and they have a flower shop like i don't know it just seems a bit unrealistic i'm not saying people don't like follow their dreams and actually like say something as a kid and be like I want to do this when I grow up and then do it but like most people don't I just didn't resonate with this book which is fine not every book is for everyone but I don't know I thought I would like it and I thought I would cry but I think my hatred for the character just didn't just didn't work and I, I didn't like him from the start as soon as he said his name was Lyle it's not Lyle it's Ryle I don't like you something about you got bad vibes <laughs> would I recommend you read it probably not is it worth the TikTok hype I don't think so but I know people have read it and have liked it I mean more of the story find out for yourself I wouldn't recommend reading it I've given it a two stars on Goodreads which is probably actually yeah I think it is the lowest this year I think I've given all fives this year fives and fours so the worst book I've read in 2022 <laughs> it is what it is you know you can't please everyone and i'm not pleased i think that's it and i'm sorry if this video was like all filmed in my bed got covid and i literally cannot leave my house i feel fine now but i'm still testing positive but yeah if you've made it to this part of the video thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe if you're new if you're interested in reading if you're interested in vlogs interested in vegan food make sure you subscribe i'll see you very soon for another video bye